Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading now. This is for January 2018. Cards are falling out like mad. But I'm going to keep shuffling because I did not pre-shuffle this deck. And if I did, I don't remember it because I got up to do something. So I'm going to reshuffle. Once I do a reading, I let it go instantly, so I can't remember it. Now, this may or may not resonate with you, as it is for a general audience. So just take what does and leave the rest, okay? This is for the sign of Leo, January 2018. Happy New Year. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Okay, so it appears that this month you really are going to be emotional, okay? The chariot being the basis of your reading, it's an emotional month. I mean, this is January, okay? It's a new year. You might have a lot going on up there. And with the chariot being reversed, I mean, the chariot upright is the master of emotions. With it being reversed, you know, you may be having an emotional month. Things may be feeling out of your control. You may need to bring some balance back to your life. Uh, it looks like there's been some delays and I feel like as far as love goes, you know, you may not be, uh, and it's definitely an emotional month, that's for damn sure. There, love may not be um, what you are hoping for, put it that way. You know, it feels like the romance isn't really, you know, where you want it to be. Uh, it feels like forgiveness is needed. But let me focus the camera in. You know, I need to get back to that. I tend to talk sometimes before focusing. Um, I, I feel like, you know, you have the power. You have the power to create your reality. You have the power to master your emotions. You do. You know, you have the power to bring back control to your life and to make order out of chaos. And But I think that you're really, I'm not sure that's going to happen this month. I feel like there's some delays uh, things there's a halt something is coming to a halt okay um, things something's being put off I feel like a new door is opening for many of you um, and this could be a new love I mean it could be a new love I think that per perhaps what's happening is maybe it's the end of one and the beginning of a new because here I have uh, you know this is a this is a ma not being able to master your emotions this is an emotional like breakdown of some sort where you're stalled you're, you're not moving forward things are amiss you know there's sadness here you know maybe even there's definitely some some um, an emotional setback okay there's an emotional setback of some sort probably with you know a partner with a lover's card with a partner there's an emotional setback there's a delay there's a halt there's a there's a stoppage with these two cards things aren't moving forward okay there's there's something isn't happening something needs to crash down with this tower card whether it is reversed or upright there is a false foundation somewhere that needs to break down but it brings in a blessing in disguise okay so there is a blessing that is going to come out of this all right, you are, you're just, it's like you're in denial, okay? You're, you don't want to open your eyes to the truth because this is a wake-up call. This is the judgment card. It is a wake-up call. This is an epiphany, but it is reversed with the tower as well, with this whole lineup. It appears to me that many of you are in denial regarding a situation and you don't, you don't, it's like, it's very emotional. It's very emotional. You don't want to believe it. Okay, I don't want to believe it. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are aware. 
you're aware. You uh, know that something needs to go. It's time to shed the old. It's time to create your own reality. It's time to open a new door. It's time to stop holding it in, which I see you have been doing. You've been keeping your mouth shut and that's very hard to do. So because you've been doing that, your emotions are in overdrive, okay? And you may be feeling extremely emotional. Maybe if you're not crying outwardly, you are definitely crying on the inside because I see um, that there's a lot of emotions here, an overwhelming amount of it. It's like a feeling of overwhelm. I'm overwhelmed with this. I'm, I don't know what to do. I, but the thing is, is you don't want the chaos. You don't want the... Um, disorganization so it feels like you're giving more than you should um, to a situation you don't want to give to anymore and it feels like you're just really staying stuck okay you're not looking at life from a new perspective but I really think you should even, you know even if there's a loss if there's a change in a relationship you have to let somebody go I'm not sure because we have the eight of cups and the knight of cups they're both reversed it looks like something needs to be let go of but I think you're not letting go of it because you know you're in denial you are definitely in denial you've got a blindfold on you don't want to accept the truth I mean that's what this card says okay you don't want to let you don't want to let the cat out of the bag okay about the truth but the fact of the matter is is you have to be willing you have to be willing to bring your own success okay you do. You have the resources to do it, to be successful, to overcome these challenges, to overcome this emotional turmoil. You have the power to do that. You just have to use it, okay? I, I think that many of you have come to a fork in the road where perhaps there's you need to choose a new partner, okay? Because this usually signifies a new partner, a choice, a decision in love, and with this two of um, wands, that's also a partnership. So it feel, and this is usually a new road, a new path. So there could be a new uh, partner that comes into your life that really shake things up. But I think that you may reject them because you're still stuck on something else. Okay, I feel like it's really a time of introspection and reevaluation, and you are completely ignoring the truth of a situation. I mean, it's it's clear that you are ignoring with this card and this card, and that's what it looks like to me. And you are doing it because in this card, you're doing in this card, it, you're doing it because. You don't want chaos. You don't want disorganization. You don't want, um, you're worried about what society or your family or somebody's going to think about your decisions. You know, there's a little bit of pride here in the way. And I feel like um, you really need to look at it from a different perspective, seriously. But you're not. This Queen of Swords upright would be looking at something from a new perspective. But because it's reversed, it's telling me that you might be angry. You might be angry. You may be spiteful. You may be um, vengeful. Very, there could be some nasty words being said, you know, when in fact you should be looking at it from a perspective of, okay, this will bring me a new relationship. This will bring me a, something else to love. This will bring me something new and exciting, okay? So you really should be looking at it from that perspective that everything happens for a reason. Okay, I believe that this is good news. There's a blessing in disguise here, whether you believe it or not. And I think that this month is a month of, uh, oh gosh, I need it to be positive, please. But it's not. <laughs> and see, everything that comes out for a reading is for you. Every word that comes out of my mouth, it's not positive because you're not mastering your emotions. You're letting the overwhelming feelings of despair yet to you okay you know you have the power to turn this card around this is the power and this is to turn this card around this is a victory this is success this is moving forward okay this is mastering your emotions but unfortunately it's reversed because you're not using the power within you you're not looking at something from a new perspective you're not willing to go down a new road you know, at this time, we are being offered a new opportunity, okay? This is a fork in the road. Which, what, what are you going to do? 
you gonna st and this is kind of the same you st are you gonna stay where you're at or are you gonna move forward okay their opportunity to move forward is here there's consequences to be had with your actions Okay, when the lover's card comes up, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Okay, a decision is needed. You need to make a decision, and it could have to do with your home, somebody moving out, somebody moving in. Okay, because this is an establishment, your home. So uh, there's a decision that needs to be to made regarding your a change in your home somebody moving out somebody moving in the fact of the matter is nobody wants to bring chaos nobody wants disorganization and i feel like no somebody somebody just wants to keep the structure even if it hurts you should look at this as an opportunity to find new to find new love a new relationship you know that's how you should look at it there is a false foundation here that needs to crash down it needs to fall apart it's going to bring you in something better if you are single you could be connecting with somebody out of the blue that is not your usual type okay this person could come in and open a new door for you the fact of the matter is is your emotions are in overdrive this month okay There's a controlling energy here. There's controlling and, um, you know, maybe you just want to keep things under control and that's why you're, you're not making the changes that you need to make. Balance is needed. It's time to bring peace back to your life, but you have to do it. It's in your hands. If you want to bring peace and harmony, back to your life you need to take the lead you need to be willing to shed the old that's what the magician means willing to shed the old using the resources within you to overcome and overcome your emotions okay that's what's going to bring balance and peace back and it's time to take the blindfold off For somebody, there could be a chance for a new love. And I have to really reiterate that. There could be a chance for a new love. But the fact of the matter is, I think some of you are still stuck in the past. Okay? That's what I, I see. I see that there's there's like a there's a lot of tension. There's a, like a competition here. You don't know what to do. It's like you're, you got two people in your head and you don't know what to do about it. Which one do I choose? Which one do I do choose? You know, that's kind of like what I see. And I feel like that one is definitely a better choice, obviously, than the other. And I feel like this is the person that you didn't have your heart on. Okay. Okay. So what the lover's card generally means is that, um, you had your heart on somebody. Okay, you had your heart on somebody, you had your eyes on somebody, you were committed or you thought that this was the one. But then somebody else comes into your life and changes that thought. You know, the sparks fly and you have this connection that is undeniable. That's generally what the lovers mean. Okay, but the thing is, is that you need to be open to it. Okay, you need to take the blindfold off. You need to let go of the feeling of insecurity and instability that's within you it's within you okay i see that many of you could be getting a commitment this month okay you could be you could be getting a commitment and maybe that's why you're overwhelmed with emotion because you don't know what to do you don't know if you want to accept the commitment i mean that could be the case i do see an overwhelming feeling of of emotional turmoil a lot of crying i see crying okay sadness um i feel like you're not happy with something 
and I can't pretty this up as much as I want. I mean, I'd love to be able to pretty this up for you, but I see sadness, and I see that there's no wish fulfillment in one direction, but you're hung up there, okay? You're hung up there when the fact of the matter is there's a blessing in disguise. I think you need to make a choice between two people, okay? I spit that out, and there it is. I feel like you need to make a choice between two people, and that's all there is to it. I feel, you know, this card tells me that there's destiny here. Uh, there's karma as well, okay, with the judgment card. You need to let go of something instead of clinging so tightly. You have been clinging tightly to something that does not serve you, okay? And it's been like a constant battle, a constant battle, okay? And, and part of it is because you want a commitment so badly. You want a commitment so badly that you're... Dealing with the unhappiness. But I have to tell you that, you know, good luck is on the way. It is. Good luck is on the way. When the Wheel of Fortune comes up on a reading, it means that whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Trust the process. I see a change of course. Change of course, change of course. There is in the chariot. There is a change of course for you on the horizon. And as much as it may hurt, I have to let you know that all will be well. Okay? I believe that you have invisible forces on your side. You do. You need to have faith. You need to have trust in this journey. I see a change of course. And you know, this, this emotional um, setback that you are going through is a blessing in disguise. And it will bring you new love. And I'm sure a lot of that is not what you wanted to hear. But I can't make this shit up. There's karma here. There is karma here. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open. While you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate. Those are big words. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. I believe I told you earlier that there are invisible forces here. This needs to happen to bring you in this new and exciting and welcome love whether it's a lover or a job or whatever. Maybe it's love for yourself. New love is headed in your direction. I see a change of course. All you have to do is let go of the old. Be willing to. You and your loved ones are safe. This is from the Archangel Michael deck. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace. Oh my gosh. This is the biggest deal right here. Please help me feel secure and at peace. And fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. I believe I've talked about this whole card in the reading. Security. Structure. You don't. The reason you're not moving on is because you don't want change. At peace. You're looking to bring peace back to your life in balance, in harmony. It's time. But you don't want to mess up the household either. It's, it's nuts. And so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy. 
Okay, let me go back to that. Please help me feel secure in that peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a helpful, happy life. If you are an emotional wreck, how does that benefit you? How does it benefit your family? Is that helpful? Healthyful? You know, healthy? It's time to have faith in yourself. So this is a month about mastering your emotions, okay? Even though the chariot card is reversed, you are going to have an emotional month where you are going to be called to do the right thing for you. You need to replace fear with faith and mental strength. It's time to start a new chapter. I see a new path ahead of you, okay? Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. There's a change of course. Do you accept it? That's your, that's, it's up to you. It's your decision. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. So Leo, this is what I have, you know? I'm sorry, it's not the most prettiest reading in the world. Um, I, this January is going to be hard for many. It's not just you, okay? So it is what it is. I can't, I can't make it beautiful and pretty if it's not. Life is not always pretty. Struggles teach us things. They teach us lessons. I see a blessing in disguise that is going to bring you something new and exciting should you accept it. The change that's needed. So anyway, this is what I have. I'll let you go. Talk to you later.